We're getting a little bit better at this painting in our garage, but dude, it looks freaking good. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2018 Dodge Charger Police Pursuit Vehicle. And one of our main things of today is try to get this front end completely painted before we start moving on to other things like the interior and all the other goodies that are on our parts car. We do have to do a little bit of body work on this one fender and also on the front bumper to match up perfectly with our Hellcat hood. So let's go ahead and get started. Just remove this sticker because we're gonna be sanding the entire fender and went ahead and knocked some dingers out with just a body hammer but some of this stuff is gonna need some uh, glazing putty just to smooth it out nicely but right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, add this uh, sticker decal to our collection it looks like a badge I mean look at it That's six weird. semper Tyranese or something like that it's a man standing on another man that's crazy there's probably some kind of story behind that but let's go ahead slap it on our collection should we where should we put this thing uh that's the viper wall right there viper wall just slap it on the bin right pad. here perfect slap it just slap Ooh. it slap it on there slap it on I guess. <laughs> put it on there that's clean right that's there man sick, dude i don't know what the meaning behind that is but that's weird yeah it is that's pretty weird but that looks cool so right now let's go ahead and start adding some glazing putty and try to finish off this body work done came out perfect but before we throw any primer on it we're actually gonna move on to the front bumper over here and actually get rid of this little divot here so it matches our Hellcat hood so let's go ahead sand this down throw some glazing putty on it and then we're gonna throw primer on everything So we just threw our second coat of glazing putty and before we start sanding we did notice that this bumper is just a little bit too flimsy on this stand and we don't know exactly how it sits because if we just sand it on this stand and we throw it on the car it may do a totally different shape and it may flex a totally opposite way so right now we're actually going to run to our local lkq and see if we can get this little bumper bracket whatever it's like a radiator cover slash bumper bracket and it actually clips onto the bumper and i think it once we clip it on it'll actually straighten this bumper out to the perfect uniform form uh alignment with this hood exactly so and even if we put it on there we could send it on there too right yeah we can throw it on here or we can uh snap it on it may form perfectly we'll probably throw the front grill on too so right now let's go ahead run and see if we can get that piece Alrighty, guys so before we continue i do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsorship raycon 
Raycon provides innovative headphone designs at prices that won't break the bank. And as for their wireless earbuds, their prices start at about half the price compared to the other premium wireless earbud brands. And one of my favorite things about the Raycon earbuds is how comfortable they are because you do get to choose the perfect fit for your ear. And on top of that, the sound quality is amazing and they are very stylish as well. Check this out, I'm gonna pop these suckers in. I like the black, dude. And also it does come with a 24 hour wireless charging case, as well as six hours of life in these suckers, which is absolutely amazing. So if you guys want some of these earbuds, be sure to visit the link down below and cop you a set. Now, let's get back to work. All right, so we're pulling around back once again to get one plastic piece. And that's it, man. Hopefully that's the only parts we need to buy because that parts car got a lot of parts on it. So it sucks that that plastic piece is actually cracked on the parts car, but let's go ahead and grab it real quick. All right, boys, so we got this little bracket right here. Now let's head back to the house. All right, so we are back. Let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and install this thing. So we finally got both areas primed in. We even went ahead and threw guide coat. And as for this front bumper, we did have to snap in this little plastic piece as well as the front grill just to get it to sit perfectly where it's supposed to. And then when we finally got this thing nice and straight, we actually had to do like two to three layers of glazing putty just to get it perfect. But I'm happy with how it turned out. But right now we're gonna let this stuff dry for a little bit. And then we're gonna move on to this hood and start wet sanding it with a 600. This is a new hood, so it should wet sand pretty easily. And then after that, we're actually gonna move on to this fender, peel that little decal off right there and wet sand this with a 600 as well and try to not sand through because we're just gonna be blending on the top of this and then clear coating the rest. So let's go ahead, grab a bucket of water, grab some 600 and start wet sanding. We are done sanding the hood and the fender. Now it's time to move on to the actually primered areas. So we're gonna go ahead and probably start blocking this out with the 500 grit. And then we're probably gonna, what do you think? Uh, scuff this or yeah, sand this with the 600? Scuff the rest just with this regular scuff pad. Yeah, it should, should be, wet sand yeah it should be quick and easy with the scuff pad because usually bumpers, uh, they're like formed very crazy, especially like depending on what car. And usually even if they're plastic like this and they're these are off brand, these are not OEM. So scuff pad should do the yeah, trick. A regular sandpaper is hard to get in all the crevices with the yeah. scuff pad it goes quick and easy and plus i think this is primer yeah it's a, it's some it's some nice primer so you can scuff it you should be good and then after that we're probably going to go ahead and move on to this fender send this primer and then we're going to go ahead and sand the rest with the 600 and that that should be it basically for today yeah hopefully um tomorrow we'll probably be painting everything yeah, right tomorrow we're going to go ahead and pull all the cars out start wrapping everything hopefully get this thing sprayed in once this thing is sprayed in, dude, dude it's gonna look so dude, sick. Throw dude, throw the front end together, everything. I'm sure we got everything now. Oh, we almost forgot one what? thing. Uh, we're gonna paint this black, right? Yeah, we're gonna be painting this black. So I think we're gonna paint this black first, let it dry, tape it off, and then paint everything white. And then we're gonna untape it and then clear coat everything. So it should look really good. So right now, let's go ahead, grab our sandpaper, and get to sanding.
straight back. Keep coming. All right, so we finished completely wet sanding everything. All the body work is complete 100%. We were about to call it a night, but we actually decided let's go ahead and just send it. Try to get this thing painted tonight because the weather is perfect. We already pulled the Ferraris out, so I think we're ready to go. We got it in a pretty good spot. The fan's gonna suck all that overspray out. So I think we're good. What else do we need to do? I mean, all we gotta do is just go ahead and clean the, all this stuff up, clean the wrap parts the up. Wrap the entire car up. Yep, wrap everything up. and uh, Wax and grease and prep our paint. We got some black paint for the center section of the uh, front bumper. Yep, over there we're gonna paint the center section black. I think we still got some GTR paint left over, yeah, some a little nice bit of black. black. There, dude. I think we're just gonna do a full send tonight and hopefully we can get this thing painted and make it look good. Let's do it. Check this out. We got the whole entire car wrapped up. Right now, we're actually gonna go ahead and start waxing grease, removing everything, and probably go ahead and start mixing some paint. But before we do so, what do you think about just throwing a tarp or no? I'm not sure. I was thinking about just uh, having that fan blowing everything this way, having that fan on, opening the window over there and letting it suck everything out. See how it works. I mean, if it doesn't work, if there's like a ton of overspray, we're definitely gonna just go ahead and quickly throw a tarp. tarp. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and click quickly throw a tarp. I mean, it's already super late, but we're trying to get this sucker done because we are excited, man. I'm yep. excited to get this oh, dude, painted. We're super excited. What about the front bumper? What are we about to do? Are we going to tape it up before we uh, actually reach No, there? right now we're actually not going to tape it up because the first thing that we're going to do is actually paint the black paint first. So we're oh, going to yeah. paint this black, let that dry, and then once that dries, we're going to tape it off nicely. There is a nice little seam right here that we can just throw some tape, tape everything up nicely, and then once that's dry, we're going to go ahead and start throwing our base coat. So Let's go ahead and get started, man. I'm excited and can't waste any time because we're gonna get this sucker painted tonight. Guys, so we're done throwing base coat and then everything is turning out absolutely amazing. This standoff actually matches really well with the original paint. I just blended 
to like right there on this fender and that's like its original color so it matched up perfectly as for the bumper turned out amazing as well we're gonna give this a few minutes to dry i'm gonna go ahead and uh, set my clear gun up and then once we come back in here we're actually gonna go ahead and untape it and then we're gonna spray some clear coat All right, so we just mixed up the clear, and now it is the moment of truth. Hopefully there's no overspray on the black center section here. Looks good so Looks, far. Yeah, so far, so good. Also got the paint suits on for the clear coat process. Oh yeah, definitely gonna need those. So this stuff has been drying for a while. It is actually pretty cold because it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. So um, it is a little chilly outside. Yeah, it, it got, we got a cold front in. Yeah, got a little cold front. Which so. feels good, but it took a good bit of time for that paint to actually cure. We have actually a heater over there underneath the hood of the Hellcat. Well, not the Hellcat, the Hellcat <laughs> hood. <laughs> underneath the hood of the Hellcat. But everything is dry now. We're just gonna go ahead and untape this right here and uh, I think we'll be ready for clear. Let's do it, man. Spray like, what do you think, two to three coats? Yeah, two to three, depending on how much uh, I can get it to look glossy. You know right, yeah, I mean? get it looking good. So let's yeah. go ahead and take care of this and then get to that clear. So it's finally finished, it's nicely painted, it came out absolutely amazing, and uh, now it's pretty dry, so we can go ahead and pull this tarp off and then call it a day. Yes sir, let's get to it man, because it is super late. It's like three, it's like three in the morning. Three in the morning, can't even think right. <laughs> yeah, but we finally got this sucker painted, it looks really Dude, good, other than a little bit of trash, but not a big deal, let's go ahead rip this stuff off be before it dries completely, because it is drying pretty fast and you don't wanna wait too long, so we'll go ahead and start off. All right guys, so we've got the main thing untaped, but we're gonna have to check out that paint tomorrow in the morning. So next day here, guys, check out the paint, dude. I'm just surprised how well that clear coat laid down, especially on the black. You can see it a lot better, dude. Nice and smooth. Don't have to do no buffing on that. We'll probably buff this top part because we will be buffing our hood because there's a little bit more trash in there. But dude, check out the blend. Check out how well everything dude, laid down in man. our garage, you know? We're getting a little bit better at this painting in our garage, but dude, it looks freaking good. Looks like glass, dude, with a little bit of trash. Glass with a little bit of trash. But... Glass with a little bit of trash, that's right. And we did get a bug right here. I think he landed in the second coat or something like that. So if we can't buff him out, we're just gonna have to leave him there and he's gonna be part of this build, honestly. Probably just give him a name, right? Yeah, we can, I mean, comment down below what his name should be if we don't buff him out. I mean, I don't know, he may be deep in there, but other than that, dude, check it out, man. I love the way that Hellcat hood looks with the white and everything finally painted. So let's go ahead and actually untape everything, pull this car out in the sunlight, let it bake, because it's just been about six hours. It's still a very fresh paint job. Then we're gonna let it bake for a couple hours. They're gonna get right back into it and see if we can install these vents. All right guys, so fast forward a couple hours later and uh, the car's pretty much dry right now. We're gonna go ahead and start popping in these hood vents. We got some original ones from Mopar just to go with our original hood, you know. Uh, I bet these things look nice whenever they're nicely popped in. I wonder if they need bolts. They mm -hmm. might, but might have to just find our own. But let's go ahead and crack this first one open. Ooh, right here, no? Right there, that's how it goes. Dang, Ooh. that looks super good. Let's go ahead and pop the rest in, dude. It's, it's freaking looking like a totally different hood now with the dang uh, vents, vents in there. Now. Yeah, it does make it look a lot nice better. Nice and black, you know, black, black grill. I think, uh, do you think the push bar is satin or gloss black? Should be gloss black. 
Gloss black or satin black? Based off my order. <laughs> Gloss black. So Hopefully. But we'll all find black is going to match really good. I'm glad we went with that original front bumper. It's going to look really good. So let's go ahead and install the rest of these. Alrighty guys, so we just threw in those vents. It looks absolutely amazing. Also pulled the car back outside because we noticed our paint wasn't 100% cured. It is dry, but it's not cured. So we're gonna give it one more day because we do not want to ruin anything. So be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we install this whole entire front end and maybe even go for our very first test drive. Also guys, you might've noticed a brand new hoodie. This is very limited and you know they sell out quick. So you know what to do. Be sure to visit goonsquad.com and help support your boys. And if you haven't, be sure to follow us on Instagram at goonsquad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. With that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.